All right, welcome back, guys. Another episode of Funliner Reacts. We have Brandon here as a guest again. Thank you for being here, Brandon. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna Another watch. Day. Uh, we're gonna watch the epic Carolina Crown 2013 show. Uh, everyone knows this show. It's the one and only Carolina Crown title um, that they have, and it's really surprising, honestly, that they have not won again since then. But um, yeah, oh, I that's mean, true. I think a new, a new, uh, another championship will be coming to them soon. That's what I'm guessing. I think the next person to win that's not a Blue Devil is probably Brown. I don't know. Is that a, is that a prediction? Is that a 2020, 2023 prediction? I don't know. <laughs> I think Blue Coats are gonna be tough still. Yeah, that's right. They are. Up that's what, that's that's my hot take. Okay. Yeah. So uh, without further ado, let's just let's just jump right into it. All right. Ready? Mm-hmm. I got this turned up to 11. <laughs> <laughs> this certainly was a game-changing show. Just mm -hmm. like 2016 uh, Blue Coats was, this was also one of those. Is, wasn't this like the bi a big change for their uniforms as well? Oh, it's the first yeah. time they weren't cream. Yeah. 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 Wow, this Bro, is throwing is me back. Yeah. This was clean, bro. Yeah. I haven't I haven't seen this uh, in so long. Wow. Vocals iconic. I want somebody that Marsha's show in the comments to confirm this. I heard the brass used to rehearse till like three AM. I need somebody to confirm that. Yeah, I Dude, heard that it was no a tough way. I heard some crazy yeah. stuff. Three AM? Yeah. I heard some crazy stuff. Well, it was like it was like two a.m., three a.m. I heard some crazy stuff, so I want to I want somebody to confirm it. I I know somebody that marched, who said that it was like probably the toughest year, and they were like treated really tough that yeah. year. This <laughs> these but visuals, monsters, these visuals are super clean, but they're so Carolina Crown. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the choreography is so Carolina Crown. <laughs> but yeah, the whole staging of this intro is really cool. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Bro, the spread. Oof. Mm -hmm. Like that, that is spread so clean. in the stadium is like so intense. The crown is so good with brass timing, no matter yeah. where they are on the field. That's They're insane. geniuses with that. Dude, the the guard this year too is really good. You guys know who worked at Crown and kind of ran a lot of their ensemble rehearsals uh, in like 2008 and a little before that? Ooh. Not Rudy, was it? Rudy. It was yeah, I thought, I was, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Bro, I love Rudy so much. But Rudy was my homie in 2019. Shout out Rudy. He's so yeah. amazing. The yeah, homie. a great guy. Woo! Oh my god, the timing. Like, wow. yeah, like they spread. So clean. From and the pacing of the crescendo, fifteen to fifteen. Yeah. And so I know that I I don't know anything about brass, but I know that this brass line is really really good. Mm -hmm. And do you guys think this is the best one line ever? I think no. Mm. I think this they is got a just perfect the, score. But... I think this is the strongest horn line ever. They have to. Be. I think. Wow. That that spread and the sound. There's no holes anywhere, and they're so spread out too. The just the energy being there on final night was crazy. Like for those of you who don't know, there were like eight standing ovations during the show. Damn. Yeah. Where were you wild. sitting? I was sitting really far away. <laughs> I was sitting. I was sitting like uh, the side two zero. Damn. Um, not not super high, not in nosebleeds, but like middle high. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this is the best horn line ever, because I think actually, you know, following these years, Crown just they, all those shows at like 16 Crown, 17 mm -hmm. even, like those yeah, really sure. good brass lines too. Ah, uh, but this this horn line was the most technically proficient. Though. Oh yeah, okay, like, I believe that. Yeah. Dude, the dexterity like, is I think beyond. The 2012 Crown book was more difficult than this book. Really? Yes, I think it, I think the 24 Crown book is definitely more difficult. Than this yeah, book. yeah, I can see that. Especially this was executed the, better. Yes. The demand with the book. Yeah. Like the the, the visual demand with the book. I right. Definitely. Yeah. Eleven. Yeah. This this horn line was just undeniably clean. Like yeah. everything was so lined up. I think part of part of why this this book is so popular is because 
it's not only composed really well and executed really well, just it's very approachable. Like, like the composition is very not like it's, fun, it's just fun to listen to. Yeah, it's yeah. fun to listen to. It's very major. It's very um, you know appealing. And it features every part of the brass. I mean, like everybody has to play. I love that part. They were just you know they just like have like a one measure run and then they jazz right. run for like. Yeah. 16 counts and then the same thing over. This might be my favorite second movement of a show ever. Mm -hmm. I love, like, this Would you count this, this as movement number two? Right I love that. I love that. That's so interesting. Right here too. There's a, someone on the high C. Yeah, He's just double tonguing and upper like that. Yeah, dude, that stuff is. The, the like, reason why I consider this the best horn line is just that I can't find any errors. Like even in uh, Crown 11, I could hear things. You know what I mean? Because they're so Crown spread. 12, the, yeah. the drill is so difficult. Oh, 12, yeah. They're so spread and so difficult. I can like hear. I'm like, okay, I understand it's why. The entrance the flams. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But here I can't. I honestly can't. Maybe if I really look. But... Shout out to the vocalists. Yeah. They really nailed it. Kevin! Ever, were you asking me a question earlier? Or trying to? Uh, yeah, I forgot it, but yeah. Okay. The, the dude second on the left is the brass caption for Cavaliers. Now. Yeah, yeah. Got long okay, bases. <laughs> nice. I actually, I, I don't think I've heard that bass pick before. By listening, listening to that bass here. I do. I like the battery book from this show too. I think they like the drum line doesn't get a lot of love because they weren't maybe up to the level that the, that the brass was. But, yeah. they, but they still, they still rock it, I think. They give them a long feature, though. This is pretty long. Yeah, yeah, it's a long feature. And it's not like it's not the hardest book either. It's the hardest yeah, yeah, yeah. book, but I think Bro, it fit with the show really well. This chromatic stuff, and you know, you, you can hear it, right? They're they're all it's moving down yeah, the line yes, as yeah. they play. Like they're not all playing this at once. It's going. The down lot the videos line. of this is insane how they rehearse it is insane it's so cool okay let me tell you how bad i was when i was in high school my freshman year of high school sophomore i learned this whole show by ear and i would play it all the time I'm sorry for you. That's the probably crowd, like the third or fourth standing ovation already. The crowd knew that this was, you know, it was it was special. Like, oh yeah, yeah, they knew. Especially coming after the most, you know, abstract show like 2013 Blue Devils, you know, like people are wanting yeah. to hear this, you know. It definitely. Um, I'm pretty sure Blue Devils won in prelims that year, so it, it was like tight oh, between wow. them and Crown yeah. throughout the no, season. Yeah, yeah. They went back and forth, and so I think the crowd also. Wanted to it's express that they wanted to win. <laughs> it's yeah. Oh, it, it is crazy how how much of a, a contrast there was from the 2013 BD show to this show. Like yeah. completely different. Future Frontliner reacts. <laughs> Dude, I love 2013. You know, I love this show. There's just so much transparency in this show, and it's easy to like absorb and see Dude, every little thing. I'm not sold on this ballad. I will, I will, I will be honest. Just the horn line sounds so rich and sonorous. They're like great, but it's not the standout moment. You know, like it's not it's, for me. It's this not, ballad not the is standout. A, it, yeah, it's it's a little slow for me. It's well, great. Yeah, it's not it's a power really, really good. I think because I, I think it's because they kind of they shift to focusing more on like the storytelling, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. Which I think which they do a great job of. You know I love you, darling. You reply. You are the light of my life, my sun, moon, and stars. With
without you, I have no reason for being. I think as a trumpet player, the ballad was like cool to me because of the solo. Yeah. You know what's weird? Like this is this is this moment is like seared in my head because when I was young, Alan first started using Instagram. I literally like took a video from where I was sitting of this moment and posted it on my Instagram. <laughs> is it still there? So it, no. Just <laughs> before they had archive to I like, can't get to that. Yeah. What a nerd. I know, dude. Where were you? Oh, good. You, were, you were here live. My right? camera. I was like shaking it. I was like <laughs> crying. <laughs> Alan, where are you sitting? Um, I was like on like the forty yard oh, line on the left. Like, Damn, which wasn't bad. Seat. Yeah, and it was kind of up front. Was it loud? Yes, it was so loud. Definitely the loudest. Well, no, honestly, those seats weren't the loudest, but I could feel how loud they were. If that mm -hmm. makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The best, the best is like 50, but like where the horn angle is, like right below yeah. the box. That's where it's the loudest. Bro, this double tongue is so, so clean. clean. Wow. It, and the, the crescendos are so controlled. Oh, wow. that's so clean. And the call and response are the high brass and the low brass. I love this roll in the snares. And this double tongue. Yeah. I, that was like I, I love perfectly that written. Yeah. And bro, those are C's. Yeah. That's yeah. R's. Yeah. Triple I love these hits. They're like just like the offbeat hits. On this oh, line right line. here. Right here. A mellow line. It's <laughs> such a famous, famous yeah. mellow lick. The 3D drill. I love the 3D yeah, drill. Yeah. This yep. is the pyramid. Have they ever done that again? They uh, did not since, I don't think. But they did it in 12. Yeah, they, dude, oh my god, they had this crazy 3D in 14, but they took it out. It was in there. It was a crazy 3D drill, but they took it out because it was too, too difficult. It's like a DNA helix that was going on. Five, six, five, one. People are standing up already, and there's still like a minute and a half left. <laughs> I love that like circulatory ending. Taking the theme back from the beginning. Their marching technique is so stiff, though. I, I, yeah, I gotta say it. Yeah. It's just on your hips. hips. Yeah. John this en this like ending, that. I didn't realize like the Everything. kind of the meaning of it, but like somebody on any YouTube comment wrote. I think it might be on this video. Look at that! He comes out the other side. That's yeah, crazy. He, he comes out the other side because he goes through like a wormhole, and then all the oh, other guard does, yeah. people, they they like fall on the ground because they die because you know it's like they're not able to travel. It's like not as much time. Whoa! I, I, I can't Bro. Wow. But wow. they all like, like they all died because. Yeah, they can't. That that guy is able to travel that distance of space because mm -hmm. he went through a wormhole, but no one else can travel that far. Yeah. That's insane. That, that's, wow. that's crazy. Yeah, Big brain having, moment. Wow, that's huge brain moment. That's deep, bro. Wow. Damn. Wow. Wow. Great show. Yeah, so I think. This show is like so extremely tonal, like you know, compared to the atonalness of *Ride Re Rewrite of Spring*. Like this show is so tonal and so just like I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. positive. Like it's just Pleasing so on like, the ears. it's just yeah, so yeah, on, the, on, on the on the scale of harmony. It's extremely on the light side. It's, mm -hmm. It doesn't even touch the dark. It complete stays completely on the light side, which is super contrasted towards you know. A lot of the Blue Devil shows, which definitely mm -hmm. delve in the dark, the, the darker side of harmony. The dark arts. Uh, but <laughs> but this dark is magic. you know it's it's a great show, and 
you know, I see in, in the YouTube recommended right here, it's the, the 2013 warming and tuning, which I, I warm Dude. up and tuning, and that, that, that also is insane. Like, all this kind of stuff is just wild. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. It's, it's always interesting because it's funny. In, like, 2017, um, Malik and I, when we got coats and stuff, um, it was always the fear, like, oh, man, we're about to pull a crown, you know? Because mm-hmm. we're about to go from first to fifth. And you did. You know? Um, <laughs> yeah. um, you did exactly that. But, you know, it's it's interesting because, like, hearing the horn line in 2014, is it, there's a video on YouTube by Drum Corps Tube of yeah. the 14 horn line. They sound amazing. In the lot. And oh, yeah. And literally, it is so good. It's, yeah. I think yeah. it's probably one of the best. Yeah. Um, lot horn videos. Line videos out there. Yeah. Horn line videos out there, you know. But then yeah. they got fifth place. So, um, yeah. Yeah. It goes to show that, you know, you need to have all the aspects of the show to yeah. be successful. You can't just you have the all. best horn line out there. But they didn't even win brass. That was Flynn yeah. Yes that won brass. Yeah. But Brandon, it I seemed w- like they wrote a lot of their book, like, based off the horn line and what they were playing. Mm. Yeah, that could, it could be. Because I, I, I don't know for sure. But I mean, it's, I, it's that, no secret. That does seem like a, a good analysis of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's no secret that, Ca- that Crown uh, prioritizes their horn line. I feel like yeah. they definitely... They definitely write their shows around the horn line. Yeah. I think. Mm-hmm. I mean, not like, not to the detriment of other parts of the show, but yeah, like, I mean, I think, you know, that show is so good and it's definitely, you know, it's not my favorite crown show, to be honest. Like we said, 16 is my favorite crown show, but like mm-hmm. they definitely uh, just like, they knock it out of the park musically, right? Uh, but I would say visually, I, I you know, I'm not necessarily blown away, you know, like I think there's, there's some great visual stuff in there and it's clean, but I mean, even compared to 2013, who won, did, who won the Brazali in 2013? Was it? I, I'm pretty sure it was Crown. It was Brazali Crown was Bidge, too. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Crown won Bidge that year. Uh, then I'm guessing it, that was probably for the proficiency of their visual, but I, I would say, you know, I know 13 Blue Devil Show really well too, and there's mm-hmm. a lot of really cool visual stuff in there, like mm-hmm. and, like very ambitious stuff in there. So yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, this show is legendary. I love it. So yeah, I think it, it is my favorite crown show. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. It's a lot of people's favorite crown show too. So why 15 is not your favorite crown show? <laughs> your, your competition, the one you you stole from Crown. Yeah, wow, dude. dude I. I still feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, again, thank you for watching this episode. We, uh, yeah, we love doing these and uh, leave it, leave a comment for a show that you want us to watch in the future. And uh, we're going to try to keep turning these out and pumping these out because we love doing them. So mm-hmm. thank you, Brandon, again, for being here. Thanks for yeah. watching with us. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for more stuff coming out soon. I'm the only one editing these, so it takes a little bit of time to get them out. But actually, just doing all the hard work. Yeah, if no. you <laughs> so passive aggressive, bro, if like you, I'm doing like everything and I'm sweating <laughs> and I can't sleep. But like, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Anyways, if any of you guys out there are editors or are very proficient oh in God. finale cut or uh, premiere, whatever you use. Um, Leave a comment down there, and uh, maybe we can we can get someone to be one of our editors for the show. We can link for the, up for the show. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, we'd be interested in something like that. So if you if you like editing, if you are, are good at that kind of stuff, um, reach out to us because that definitely could be a possibility. So um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Peace out. See you next time. See you later.